Where are you at? J.H., you have to come back with me! Where? Back to the movies! Thanksgiving special. We're your host, Elijah Mangum. And James Clark. Thanksgiving is a time to gather with our friends and family and to give thanks to God for all his many blessings. We have so much to be thankful for this year. But we have one more to add to the list. Disney Plus. Disney Plus is where you can stream most of your favorite movies and TV shows from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, Fox, and National Geographic, along with original content. With that being said, it's time for a Disney Plus review roundup. First off, we're going to be reviewing the first two episodes of The Mandalorian. Don't worry, no spoilers. First episode acts as a great introduction to the tone and feel of the series that ends on a great cliffhanger, but suffers from poor direction. The second episode is just a little better, as it's better directed and expands on the episode one cliffhanger. Both episodes include a surprisingly great score, cinematography, and visual effects for television. I can't wait for more episodes every Friday on Disney+. Plus. We'll give it a 9 out of 10. Also on day one, we saw the premiere of National Geographic, The World of Porn, Jeff Goldblum. Even though we wanted more of Jeff Goldblum, Jeff Goldblum in it, it was obviously still very funny and very interesting. Overall, we'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. They also released two new original films, including a live-action remake of Lady and the Tramp and Noel. Lady and the Tramp succeeds with a good voice cast and impressive animal visual effects that, that strikes the perfect balance between emotion and realism. However, while the script is funny and heartwarming, it suffers from changes that tarnishes the impact of those events in the original and historical inaccuracies from itself. Overall, it's good, but it's not great. We'll give it an 8 out of 10. Noelle succeeds with a good cast, most notably Anna Kendrick, Bill Hader, and Hollywood legend Shirley McLean. Despite having some funny, heartwarming moments, the script was really bad and can feel like a cheesy homework movie at times. Also, the special effects were so bad that it looks unfinished. Overall, Noelle is bad with very few redemptions and we'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. Overall, the new original content ranges from great to bad, and of course, you have hundreds of classic movies and TV to watch as well. However, the service is, for the most part, great, but we have only two minor problems with it overall, including the small selection of characters for profiles, and a lot of movies aren't available yet. Other than that, it's amazing, and we totally recommend it for everybody, and it's a lot cheaper than other streaming services. So why not? Now, if you excuse us, we're going to watch more Disney+. Plus. Happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see y'all next time when we return back to the movies. You've taken your first step into a larger world. You ready for this? We'll all be together at long last. connected.